good evening everybody and welcome to the video this video i'll be talking about a very interesting thing the use case is essentially uh, how do i get the total number of retries when a lambda fails right so what i'm essentially telling is when a lambda function fail you can maximum retry for three times so whenever the first retry comes the second retry when the lambda is executing how do you fetch the uh, which retry attempt is there because based on that you might want to do certain um, actions right i'll walk you over a very interesting use case that i had and i needed this functionality the functionality was so we had the mongo streams and lambda the lambdas are basically firing up and there is a certain scenarios when the lambda fails when a lambda fails we essentially put a log message on data lake uh, and essentially we can query this log using uh, athena right now the problem was when a lambda retries we used to get a duplicate items so it was hard to determine is this the one or is this what's going on so what we essentially needed was when a lambda retry whenever we insert that log into the data lake we wanted to get uh, if it's a first retry or second retry and after third retry if it fails we want to do certain action so those scenarios uh, we had and which is why i decided to you know search a little bit and make this video uh, so let's get started again i wouldn't lie i got this uh, boilerplate code from stack overflow right uh, and all i've done is i've simply modified a small piece of it right this is the code again uh, i'll tell you what you need to change so where where it says hash 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 you get essentially the lambda retry when the lambda is invoked so the guy or the developer who wrote this code on stack overflow <coughs> excuse me who wrote the code on stack overflow what it does is basically he essentially makes a query and he queries um, you know cloudwatch right and from that he determines uh, the is it the retry 1 retry 2 retry 3 all i have essentially done i have simply added a kill counter here which means if you observe that this is essentially checking uh, for a response in a while loop uh, ideally what I, so as, as you can see after 1 second it's poking right it's going to check okay query and check did you get response query and check did you get response So after 15 second, if I don't get response, I want the lambda to terminate. I want it to uh, stop. So I essentially entered. I put a kill counter here uh, in his code, right? Now again, the code works absolutely flawless, and I'll show you this in action. So now, uh, since you have an exception, right? So maybe you want to do something based on if it's the last retry, if it's a third retry, maybe notify someone, right? We already tried three times, and now you want to alert someone, right? those type of functionality you need this particular code right so now i can simply branch off and say i can say if retry counter is greater than do maybe publish to sns or maybe alert somebody right because i tried maximum two times or three times right so this code would be super super useful for uh, you guys uh, again as i said i i had this use case in my company where i needed the total number of retry in the lambda itself right so as you can see right over here lambda 1 lambda 2 right essentially the lambda ran three times and if it, uh, at the third time if it fails i want to do something i want to essentially do certain action right the only thing that you got to change is this particular part over here so in in my case you know my lambda functions uh, essentially creates a log group called born to die whatever your whatever log group name you uh, have for your lambda function simply insert that over here and then easily you know if if you can say if it's the second time you know you want to alert it because already it failed like twice or you want to basically publish certain messages or maybe on the data dog or s3 whatever that is is a pretty pretty nice use case right so this is how you would do it i would leave this code in the description so if you want to check that out please go and check that out again uh with that being said right again it's a very interesting use case right because in my scenario when a lambda was invoked asynchronously right we are essentially trying three times and after the third whenever whenever it's a third attempt right i wanted to do a certain scenario right i wanted to notify i wanted to maybe publish a, a special message on the data lake etc 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 right thank you so much for watching i'll leave the code in the description so you guys can check it out if you have any more questions leave your question in the comment section and i'll try my best to answer or address your question with that being said keep smiling keep learning and remember knowledge is power so keep always learning and i'll see you guys in the next video